Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. It's your boy Luis Portellas and for today's video we have a very special reaction because we're gonna be talking about Sara Geronimo and Matteo Giduselli's brand new cover of The Gift. Just a few days ago I reacted to Sara Geronimo's music video for Duyan and honestly that was so so good, mind-blowing and quite honestly it left me wanting more. I wanted to go back a little bit to those days where I would react regularly to Sara Geronimo and luckily my girl has been giving us a lot of content lately. Just yesterday Yesterday she posted this cover of The Gift, which is a Jim Brickman uh, cover. And just a few weeks ago she also released a cover of The Prayer, which I haven't reviewed. So if you guys want me to check that out as well, let me know in the comment section. But the point is, I'm excited to cover more content about Sarah. I feel like there is a lot being said about her and I always like to add my own little uh, grain of salt. If you enjoyed this video and find some sort of value in it, don't forget to hit the like button so that it gets recommended to more people. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And be part of the conversation in the comment section down below. So let me know what do you think about my comments, my feedback, and the performance. Now, I won't keep you waiting much longer. I will see you with the reaction right after the intro. You strong. You strong. Here we go. Oh, oh, they quite literally went and got Jim <laughs> for the music video. <laughs> hey, Jim. Hi, Mateo. How are you? We're good. We're good. I'm actually with Sarah right now. Hey, Sarah. Hello. Hi, Jim. How are you? So I was thinking of doing a very special version of my song, The Gift. Mm -hmm. Would you want to sing it with me? We would love to. It will be our pleasure, Jim. Oh, that's great. It will be my pleasure as well. Let's do it. Thanks, Thank Jim. you, Jim. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Quite literally, they are giving us cinematography, baby. <laughs> little introduction and all to give us a little context to the music video. But honestly, I, I appreciate the effort. I think that I have to read into the description of the video, but I'm guessing that this is part of Sarah's production company that she has with her husband. So I'm guessing that they have a lot more control when it comes to their art and the things that they put out. And this might just be the result of that. I also want to say they look so good. Obviously, they are a beautiful couple, but I love to see Sarah, you know, glowing. The hair is growing back. I feel like the, the pop energy coming back as well. So hopefully we'll have more original music from her soon. New performances and all of that. But anyways, that's for another video. Let's keep watching. Here we go. I feel like I know this song, but not really. So let's see. Her voice is so smooth. It's sweet like sugar, like honey. I feel like it's caressing my soul right now. <laughs> this is precisely one of the things that are so underrated about Sara Geronimo. I mean, not by her fandom. The fans know this, the fans support her, the fans love her. But I feel like a lot of people, <coughs> the haters, like to compare Sara to other singers and to the belting abilities and this and that. And I feel like Sara is at this point in her career, she is confident enough to know the things that she excels at, the things that she can really over deliver in. And I feel like this type of songs, this type of vibe is one of those genres that Sarah is really able to nail every single time. And we have seen in other performances that she can easily adapt to other genres as well. So she's one of those artists that can do a lot of things. So don't try to put her in a box. She doesn't belong there. My girl is an artist and she can create art as she wishes. So romantic. What? So brown guapo. Sarah.
That was so sweet. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I really love this part right here because you can feel that she is using her vocals to really evoke, to really transmit the message of the lyrics, the message of the song. And it's not just about showing people what you can do vocally. This is really about making you connect with the message of it all. And I feel like sometimes that's one of the biggest mistakes that singers make is that just because they can belt or just because they can hear certain notes that might be really, really mind-blowing, they try to really plug it everywhere. And at the end of the day, it just comes across as being overly forced. And that's something that Sarah has been really, really good at managing. For example, we know that she's an incredible dancer doesn't mean that on every single video she's gonna be dancing. Can you imagine her like throwing her pop star movements right here on this music video just because she can dance? No, she's able to edit and she is able to select when is the appropriate time for everything. And this required smooth, airy vocals. That's exactly what she's giving it. Now, this is a cover with her husband, so I wonder if he's gonna sing as well. Is he? Is he a singer? Good as well. If only time stood still. But the colors fade away. But the years will make Guapo and talented. Sana oil. This is such a cute rendition. Honestly, well, first of all, I didn't know that her husband sang like so, so well. I knew that he was in show business, but I wasn't necessarily like familiar with his career and what he does. So this is a big surprise for me, first of all. Second of all, I think that Jim's decision to put them both um, in this song was was really, really smart because Sarah and Matteo don't only have like a lot of chemistry when they sing together and of course like they have the talent that is required for these type of songs, but simultaneously they are so wholesome. That's what I'm noticing here. It doesn't feel like they're just delivering a song, but it almost feels like a conversation between two lovers. Like they're singing the lyrics of the song to one another. And that's what makes it so, so special. As I said earlier, I'm not necessarily familiar with this song in particular. Like I feel like the sound, I've heard this somewhere, but, but the entire thing so far is giving me Christmas vibe. And that will make sense because right now Filipinos are already celebrating Christmas. For the gift. Give it to us, mom, she. I'm jealous. <laughs> I want this. Gift. Mm, oh, that was amazing. Oh, look at that. They're gonna end up with the hug. So beautiful. As I said, this is probably one of the most wholesome videos that I have ever watched from Sara Geronimo. And it just makes sense. I feel like the vibe of the song is so Sara and like the entire message just makes absolute sense for her relationship. I know that this is close to her values, so this comes across as being like very honest, very genuine. You know what? 
I think that Sara and her husband going into this entire project of having their own production company and all of that is one of the best ideas that they could possibly have because the amount of freedom that they have to create and just explore new horizons is truly, truly unmatched. I don't think that a lot of artists, not just in the Philippines, like everywhere in the world, have this type of creative freedom. So anyways, you guys, let me know in the comment section what do you think about the song, the performance, uh, my comments, and anything else that you would like to express. While you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, check out my other Sara Geronimo reactions right here. And of course, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And last but not least, come give me a hug. This is a little duration on the channel. You know that I love you, that I appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming and spending a few moments out of your day here with me. And until I see you next time, please stay safe, be kind to one another, sending you all my love, all my kisses, and I'll see you on the next one.